face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what's up guys and welcome to a rather short video here where we're just going to mention about of course the band that passed of course on the small community being of course at the Mega Metagross eventually actually got banned and that's a pretty big deal to be completely honest. Mega Metagross did escape the last time Generation 6 but due to course the shifting of how the Mega function is now, Mega Metagross has become a great threat in the OU meta and where 260 people roughly did vote on this and by 62% in advantage for banning it, it got of course banned from OU. So the purpose of this video is just to try to of course talk about why it got banned, reasons it is so strong and also try to clarify the misconception here that people tend to attack Smogon when it comes to a ban that you know they're they're bad at the game is usually one of those things that really transpired. I actually did a poll on Twitter just basically see what people think about it because it's it's one of those really really annoying things that could pop up for, because because if you want to be able to vote on the ban uh, one really has to do one thing. You have to be um, getting a lot of uh, points in the suspect testing ladder. Uh, and those players who actually are successful in that will be able to vote. That means that the best players in that specific area is going to be able to vote. So if you want to have a decisive factor, you have to be good at the game. If you're not good at the game, you don't get to vote. So you, you cannot hear that yourself. You, you don't get to whine about it if you're bad about it in the game because clearly the people that are good at the game has a decisive factor and really in the end of the day one has to trust those players. I mean I do not play OU myself even though I would say that I do believe Mega Metagross is broken I would not say it's broken for the reason it got banned for which only implements of course that I definitely should not be a factor when it comes to actually voting in of course the OU ladder. Now the primary factor that it got banned in the first place is as stated the change in the Mega. Uh, being able to of course go in directly for its 70 to of course 110 speeds here does solve a lot of natural issues that this Pokemon were facing, such of course getting able to Mega Ball in front of course Lando and of course Excadrill. Um, Mega Metagross does have a plethora of weaknesses that can easily be picked off easily, but of course with Touch Claw, um, or Tough Claw, Touch Claw, that's that's something different. Uh, tough Claw combination, it does get a plethora amount of damage naturally. The combination, of course, Sunhead by the Meteor Match solves the worst for it, and you basically you just need a filler move. Thunder Punch is usually what you go at just to be able to deal with the like of Celestial, who would possibly come in on it. Uh, but also, Ice Punch is an option, but really bulkier grass type sort of Tangrowth is primarily its only its biggest issue, and it's together with, of course, the likes of, of course, bulk ground types, that are, of course. Um, uh, Lando and Powdown, those are the primary threats of using, of course, the lies of Ice Beam, but, or I mean Ice Punch, but that's usually about it. So there are a filler combination here with Metagross just souls on its own. It's a very, very good one in general, even to the likes, of course, dealing with the Garchomp. If it's not a Scarf Garchomp, then you basically can't touch the Mega Metagross. It did leave a lot of this definition building for a lot of players, and Mega Metagross is impossible to prep for because it just hurt that much. Uh, the reasons that I never really necessarily liked it all that much is for one really good reason, and that is the combination that it had with other Tapus. Tapu Bulu, of course, is solving its EQ issue to some extent, and of course getting a proper recovery, which is of course the real was lacking in Generation 6. It's a big issue to be able to, of course, survive in that well as it does. But not only that, one of the bigger issues is actually the Tapu Lele combination, being of course boosting the Sand Headbus is providing to get it with Tough Claw already, it's something that is just, it's incredibly tough to stop. It, it's pretty much impossible. And if you build with that in mind, such a hyper offensive team, you're basically hoping that your opponent does not have a very, very good defensive capability team. And even at that, those defensive responses are usually long to like the road and wash, which of course will be o-code by such a scenario and cannot will a wisp in return. But that was basically the deciding factor here. People were forced to run the lives of actually reducing its damage. Since it has clear body before it may evolving, it was a Pokemon that could not be intimidated at first. You could not switch in on it to stop it. And that still holds true. Uh, Mega Metagross is a very, very strong powerhouse. While it's not incredibly well rounded in Uber, in OU it does shine because the speed tier is not affecting it even that much. 
Even a Pokemon such as course, Bus Wall, which is definitely is one of the better ones in the meta since it's so bulky, cannot do anything like two of it, and of course, and Headbutt pretty much kills it. And it is one of those factors that just keeps on adding up. And it's very unlikely for Mega Metagross to lose a match if it just individually just exists in that environment. That said though, there are a few Pokemon that could be response to it, but they're basically matchup dependent. And when it becomes matchup dependent, it's it's a broken Pokemon. It basically becomes that because that means it's the matchup to solve whether or not you can deal with the Mega Metagross. And it all depends on the synergize you go for. Is it the Bulu matchup? Is it the um, Lily matchup? You know, is all a factor. You can't build for both. It's impossible to build for both. So uh, yeah, I do believe that's the biggest size factor, at least for me. But as stated, it's a superb wall breaker with a very strong speed here. And the things that you're supposed to, of course, wall it uh, are very, very easily crippled by Mega Metagross. It can definitely kill them in return with just a little bit of prior damage. So yeah, Mega Metagross, super annoying to be dealing with and such a super specific Pokemon to be able to actually stop head on. And uh, I really believe that the decisive factor for it overall is its speeds here that it got solved this time. It makes this Pokemon very, very easy to make evolve, and of course, just a rampage from turn one. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Which Pokemon are you think going to, of course, a triumph now that Mega Metagross is gone? Uh, I can definitely see Lily getting some, um, getting some extra usage now. Uh, it, it's back on track to become that dangerous Pokemon that people were avoiding uh, because Lele was basically kind of walled out by Mega Metagross, so that's that's a thing. That's definitely gonna happen. Uh, I do believe a more offensive sister is gonna be utilized more more well rounded now because usually they are built defensively to be able to shake it. I think you don't need to do that as much anymore, which is good for the Pokemon itself. Uh, other Pokemon that I think are gonna shine a bit more is the likes of. Uh, um, Bus Wall, Mega Charizard X probably gonna get some more usage now, and of course the likes of Gyarados. There are a few factors here would make Pokemon a bit more viable, uh, since of course they don't have to define their speed here anymore, or at least not as much. So yeah, looking forward to see how the meta develops, and this is definitely one of the most needed bands already. Next up is of course I do believe Greninja followed by Lily. So um, it's very very interesting time right now because the heavy bands are coming. Um, whether or not Greninja is going to get banned is definitely debatable. I can see definitely both parts of the argument. Lele, on the other hand, it's tough. It's really tough. The question is whether or not it's tougher now with Gross gone. That's that's the bigger question. Anyway, guys, thank you, of course, so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care.